Okay, good morning. This time we're going to create a newsletter using Microsoft Office Publisher. To start with, let us click the start icon, start button. Look for Publisher 2016. Click to open. So we have here the featured template. You have blank short uh, portrait and landscape so we'll go to built-in since we're going to make a newsletter we we'll look for a built-in template for newsletter okay scroll down we can see the newsletters click on it It will load the different built-in templates for newsletters. You have arrows, bounds, brocade, uh, simple, divider. Okay, so we'll look for sample. Say for example, layers. Click layers, a template. Then on the right, it shows us the color scheme, which can be customized. So the default is meadow. We can look for color schemes. Let's say, for example, uh, we choose moss. Okay, the font scheme is Times New Roman, the default. We can change also the font scheme depending on the document that we are working. Okay, then you have Constantia, then click Create. Okay, it shows us the pages of Publication 1 Publisher. That's our default file name so to change that we click file save us this pc desktop okay then file name we put a file name let's say newsletter then click save so our file name or title bar is now newsletter pub dash publisher. Okay, we can click here down to make it appear larger. Zoom in. So you have here the newsletter title. We have four sections of our newsletter. So, we can change by clicking page design, columns, so default you have three columns, you can adjust it by clicking the arrow, so you have one, you have two, and three, and mixed, so I think we are okay with this one, so let's click okay. Then for the text box, once you haggled, you will see there on the left, the page 1, page 2, and page 3, and you have there the page 4. So we'll be working on page 1. Okay. So there are four pages. So page 1. For the newsletter title, we just click on it, highlight, and you can change the title by deleting the text and then typing a new one. Say, for example, our title 
uh, say for example uh, the title is a newsletter for beginning teachers in region 8 we adjust the we have your volume then the newsletter date uh, let's say it's June 10 2021 okay on this left side we can insert a picture so we delete first this one then we can insert picture by clicking insert or if we didn't have a uh, picture to be inserted yet we can go to www.iconarchive.com okay so this website iconarchive.com uh, has icons which have no white background so we don't need to process the icons to remove the white background because this website have readily available icons for example for teachers so we have many icons for teachers so this is page 2 Okay, so we choose, I think it's better, we have the first, right click on the icon, save image as, if you want to save, or you can copy image, and uh, go to our publisher, then paste, there you have it, you can adjust the size of the picture, okay, just to make it fit, because this is newsletter for beginning teachers so our icon should be related to teachers okay we have another picture here on the right we can also replace this one all right click and you can delete the object or cut so depending on uh, it will do the same so let's search for another icons for example class classes okay so there are few about class okay there are also few icons so that depends on the words that we are typing sets by alphabet so we have our advertisements okay there's none so let's go back okay so there's no more here I think that fits so let's look for an another okay how about school okay so all right so we have some options here to as an icon How about this one school icon okay copy image then go to our publisher then paste so we forget to delete this one okay then drag our picture and make it appear a little bigger okay so just like that okay so the text there are already written actually we can you know already how to change the text there so same with page two page three 
So the inside story headline. So you can just click on the text and edit the text that are necessary to be input to be placed there. Then for the fourth page, so you know already how to uh, just highlight it and you can delete it and put the right text that you want to. Okay, so we'll be working on the first page for this uh, training only. Okay, if we are done, let's click file, save. So you can print preview. You can see our sample newsletter. Okay, page two, page three, page four. We have not changed them. Okay, so that's it. So we are done with, that's how we are going to make a newsletter. Basically, we just 